Hey what's up guys, this is Ahmad from Integral Audio. Today, we'll have a look at a free plugin from Baby Audio called Pitch Drift. It is a pitch shifter, or to be more precise, it introduces pitch fluctuations to the tracks. This may be a good way to add more warmth and to make your tracks sound more organic and natural. This is going to address the digital perfections of the tracks it is used on. The pitch instabilities could be solely used to add more vibration, or could be intense enough to pitch drift the track completely out of tune. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and visit our website for more in-depth reviews. Without any further ado, let's get into it. This is a very straightforward and specific plugin. The effect you just heard on the piano is pretty much all you expect from it. You can apply this to different sounds to see if you'd be able to benefit from this effect in your songs. There are two controllers only. The amount slider that lets you adjust the amount of pitch drift and a speed parameter on the screen to adjust how fast it is. This is powered by Drift Algorithm from Baby Audio's Super VHS plugin. Let's listen to this guitar loop with no processing, and then I'll turn on the plugin and modulate different processing amounts. It sounds more interesting and this is a good way to add movement. It also gives it some sort of an analog feeling, like it's coming out of a VHS tape. Makes it more natural when it's subtle. I inserted pitch drift directly on the guitar loop, but to get a different sound, you could try to insert it on the effects that would go over the guitar input. So maybe you could try putting this on a reverb or a delay, so the wobbly effect would be on there without affecting a dry signal. So let's try that. Sounds good. This could come in handy if you produce lo-fi beats. The VHS emulation is perfect for the vibe of that genre. You could also create this same effect many other ways, but this plugin would just save you so much time, so I like that. Let's try it on more legato sounds. Again, I'll try it on subtle and then extreme settings.
sounds good with the subtle settings, and it adds some sort of a flavor, but I wouldn't use it all over the place normally. I just utilize it at certain parts to add variation, but I like how it sounds. I'll try to add it in the bass now to see how it's going to sound as well. I like how it sounds in the bass as well, probably more, and I generally like the settings where the speed is somewhat high, but the pitch drifting amount is not that much, gives a more natural feeling and adds a nice touch overall. So my conclusion is, this is a good sounding plugin, and it's free, so it's definitely worth checking out, and if you want to add some vintage or analog feel to your tracks, then this will be a great way to do so. I imagine it would sound really nice on lo-fi song starters as it will introduce nice detuned guitar or piano for instance, just to set the mood for the rest of the beat and just make it flow. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.